What's going on guys, it's Zach Burney here, and today I'm gonna to take you through my entire chest workout. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a few exciting things, or hint at it, and basically it's gonna be pretty chilled in terms of like just a chilled vlog style. So um, before we get into it guys, I did wanna kind of hint at something that's coming. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, you would have seen that I hinted at something that we've been working on for the last 12 months. So this has been like me and Joel's passion project for literally the last year. And I hate those people that say something big's coming, something and just hinted all the, all the shit because um, it's annoying, but something big's coming. <laughs> uh, and I really want to um, at least get you guys hyped because I am really, really excited. Uh, I guess COVID has put a spanner in the works because we were meant to have things launched very soon, but um, we don't know yet. So I'm, I'm waiting to hear a few things back on when we can launch, but um, all will be revealed very, very soon. But guys, what I did wanna say is, if you wanna be the first to find out what it is, hit the link below in the description, enter your email, and I promise you, I will look after you guys. So, um, because I don't know that you, you're actually keen. But, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say right now, it's gonna be, it's gonna be absolutely sick. Um, anyway, today we're gonna train chest. So, I think it's time to cue the cinematic pre-workout edit. In three, two, one. Wait, say that again. No, no I mean, I was doing it. But I am kidding. I actually don't eat uh, pre workout. Lately, uh, and I'll tell you why. Lately, I have been getting up, so I can do a whole, I should do a day in the life of myself, really, I should. But I'm not going to do it today, but I might do it soon. Um, but basically, I've been getting up, and then uh, I'll have Oxy Shred, one scoop, and then it'll be time to train soon, so I'll have another one. If you, you can have two of these in a day, but I wouldn't exceed that. That's about 150 per scoop of uh, caffeine. Um, so I'll have basically two scoops of Oxy, go down and train with weights. Making fucking noises. <laughs> I'll go down and train with weights, and then I'll do my cardio right after that. Uh, usually I'd split it up, but I'm actually really enjoying getting the weights done first, and then cardio, because I'm kind of like, the adrenaline's already there, and it's a bit easy to do. And then uh, it's time to eat, and at that point it'll be like 11.30, and then that'll be my first meal. So I'm indirectly fasting, which means my calories are pushed back later in the day. So I find for me that's so much easier. If I'm like trying to fast, and then it's just forceful, and I'm thinking about food all the time, it defeats the purpose. But if I'm just like naturally training, suppressing appetite because I'm training, and then by the time I get myself sorted and ready to eat, it's already like 11.30 or 12 or whatever. So I've been doing that recently and that's been really good. Basically makes dieting uh, feel just not as shit. <laughs> so it's been pretty good. But um, yeah, if you guys wanna get your hands on some Oxy Shred as well, discount code is, that's it, just use, just use that one. Um, and that will be that will be good. But uh, yeah, today I'm gonna take you guys through my entire chest workout and um, basically talk about uh, the things you guys need to look out for as well, um, how I would recommend training chest and give you a, a killer workout as well. And I think it's safe to say, let's tear our chest off the bun. You know there was a Jamie Oliver ad on my last video, I just found out last night, somebody said, somehow there are Jamie Oliver ads on my videos in amongst the Jamie Oliver impressions. Little does he know, it's not that good for marketing, but maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway. Let's do it. So before we get into the actual meaty fun part of the chest workout, warm up is key. So I like to do a couple of things. One is a warm up to warm up the shoulder joints, rotator cuffs actually feel good so I don't snap my shit up. And the second thing is a bit of an activator. So this is good for the people who actually struggle to connect with their chest when they're training it. Um, they feel like they're just going through the motions pushing. So I like to do an exercise to actually like connect with the muscles, switch it on, really hard contractions. So the first warm up is just gonna be anything to get some blood in the shoulders. So side raises are good. Doesn't have to be too crazy, you just go 10 reps, 12, this is a five kilo weight, so nice and light. Shoulder press. And some rotator cuffs. Some potato cuffs. And just some push-ups as well. There's no rules for this guy, so you can just do a couple sets, two to three sets, spend maybe five minutes just warming up, getting some blood in the shoulders, just feeling like you're actually not gonna snap. <laughs> it's very, very key. You might feel like you're good to go, but a little bit just to even get in the zone and get some music on. I'm obviously not listening to anything now. It's getting real awkward because I'm trying to film this. Um, but a little bit of blood in the shoulders feels awesome. Now, I'll show you guys the activations. So here guys, just using the cables, set them a little bit lower, so probably like just lower than shoulder height. Um, I don't even use handles here. It's crazy, but you're not going too heavy here. So what I do is get a full stretch, slow, squeeze, 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 <clears throat> all the way. Hold that as hard as you can for about a couple seconds. It actually should start to get painful. Squeeze, 
squeeze. And you'll only need about six to eight reps of that, two, three sets, and then you'll start to feel it. So it's basically just waking up the chest. It's just going, man, wake up, you're about to get slammed. <laughs> so that you can actually feel it. And trust me, your next exercise, the first exercise is gonna feel 10 times better than if you just jump straight into it. So first exercise, dumbbell bench press. Now I will alternate between flat and incline presses basically every week. Uh, I personally prefer dumbbell presses to a bar, but that said, I still do barbell presses every probably third week as well. I feel like with dumbbells, you can get a better stretch, you can get a better squeeze, you're less likely to cheat because you can't bounce the bar. Um, and I feel like it's just, I get a better feel out of it, but um, still alternate as much as you guys like. And the way that we're doing the sets here is with everything in this whole workout, I do as many building sets as it takes to get to the, the working weight. So let's say as many warm ups as it takes to get to my eight rep max weight. That's what we're doing here is about eight reps. So that might mean I'll do 20 kilos, 35 kilos, 40, and then 50. I don't have much variety in my dumbbells here, so I've kind of got to go 50. And I will do two sets at that heavy weight for around eight reps. Now, the reason why I don't do four is because I'm not a robot. <laughs> I can't do four sets of eight. Um, all of my guys in my coaching program as well, I try to tell them this too. If it says like, you know, four sets of 10, it's, that to me means one or two building sets, so like warm ups of 10, not to failure, and then two sets till failure of your 10 rep max. So it should look like 10, 10, hard set of 10, and then maybe nine, because you're obviously fatiguing. So that's the way I like to do it. You can't expect to get the exact same number of reps every set um, and in, apply the same level of intensity every single set. You can't do four sets till failure in a row, you'll be pretty cooked. So I like to do a few, just building, that's why they call building sets, because it's not your max. And then I like to actually hit it till failure pretty damn hard for two sets. And then sometimes on the second set of that, I'll do something like a, a drop set or partials or whatever it is to really just further tax it. Um, I think a lot of people now don't like training to a failure because all this like a lot of research comes out saying that you don't need to train to a failure and it's better to train with a bit more in reserve and stuff like that, which is perfectly fine. Um, but to me, I feel like people don't even know where their failure point is. So I would rather think I'm going to a failure and probably be in like two in reserve. But in my mind, I thought that was failure and then I'll be better off. So I personally believe that the most muscle is built in those sets where you're thinking, shit, I've absolutely cooked it. But you need to take into account rest. You're not just going like running around like a headless chicken trying to get shit done. You're still resting. The sets are still good, the execution's good, and that's what we're trying to do here. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling, I'm just trying to cover all the points here that I might get asked. Um, with the form on this too, what you wanna do is keep your shoulder blades back the entire time. You're not overextending at the top there. You're keeping them back, locked, so it's looking like that. It's very clean. If you guys wanna see a video explaining form, James English and Lex Little did a really good one um, on bench press, so check that out. But today we're gonna to start with dumbbells, then move on to an incline machine, then a couple flies, and I think you guys will be surprised with the lack of volume probably, compared to most other people, because some people have like 50 sets for chest, I definitely used to when I started. But now, if you do it properly, you find you don't need too much at all. Four exercises, three to four exercises, pretty much cooked it. So, starting with dumbbell press, and let's get into it. So next up, we're doing an incline press. So this is for the upper chest. Now, it doesn't really matter if you have a wide or a close grip experiment with both. Um, I've definitely done both in the past. Now I like to kind of keep it relatively shoulder width. And also same again with the form. Scapular, shoulder blades squeezed back the whole time. And it's just like that. Don't need to overdo it. Get a good squeeze, good stretch, and that's pretty much it. Working sets here around a little bit higher, probably eight to 10 reps. And again, if you guys don't have this machine, um, more than welcome to do any other incline press, uh, incline barbell press, dumbbell press, Smith machine. I do like to alternate though and use like a machine if I've just started with the free weights, uh, particularly it's just less stress on my shoulder joints. Uh, if I was doing like free weights and then more free weights, shoulders might get a little bit funky sometimes. So it's just really, this in this whole thing, it's a lot of personal preference stuff, guys. Like really, if I do a certain grip, it doesn't matter if you guys don't need to do the same thing. Um, be open-minded, that's, that's a big thing. 
people want to know the answers all the time, but in fitness, there's a lot of it depends. Like, it's, it's, there's really a lot of it depends. So, um, just keep an open mind, that's all. Anyway, three more sets on this one. Starting with this, form-wise, is gonna be like this. You can have a staggered stance if you want, if you wanna have your feet um, have a bit more stability, but I find I don't really need to. I can just go feet together. Now here, I'm not going all the way high. This is basically shoulder, just below. So stretch, and now again, shoulder blades, pin back, squeeze with the chest. You can come a little bit forward, like with your shoulder blades. You don't need to keep them fully retracted the whole time. If you wanna get that little extra squeeze, you can, but no point doing this. If you, as soon as you round your shoulder like that, you guys see what happens? As soon as you put your chest down, it's all front delts. So really, try to keep the shoulder blades back. Squeeze. Stretch, pause it. We don't want to go and get momentum. Pause, break the momentum. You don't need to have your hands all the way together enough to get that peak contraction. That's there, that's fine. So finally, the last two sets are the ladder flies. So we're gonna go 10 reps for the upper, for the upper chest, then at 10 reps mid, and then 10 reps kind of like a bit more of a, a bit more of a stretch from a high angle. So um, you're gonna need to get in your knees on the second set, but consensually, all right? <laughs> so 10 here. Feel the stretch. You're gonna get a bit of front delt here, but that's okay. Squeeze with the upper chest. Now 10 mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here to get what I came for. An open invitation to bring slaughter. I ran precipitations to clean water. Since the teen, I was deemed the supreme author. You should feel what I came in this game for. You can give your back. And now 10 coming more of a traditional high fly. So that is what's called a Mechanical drop set. So instead of dropping the weight every time, we're making it easier by changing the movement. So this one is the hardest, obviously. Then mid is the second hardest. And then obviously high to low is the easiest, in my opinion. So 10, 10, 10, one more set of that. And that should pretty much do us. And finally, we are gonna do some dumbbell flies just to finish. Basically, end of the session, uh, I can go one or two ways. Sometimes I'm just completely dead and I'm like, that's it, I gave it my all, I'm, I'm getting nothing out of this. Other times I can probably do a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna do two sets now, just two sets of uh, dumbbell fly, just basically to get a nice stretch. And with these guys, again, it's mainly about the stretch on this for me, so I'm not coming all the way up like that. I'm gonna keep the range relatively, probably like three quarters of the way up, and just focus on the stretch. So two sets of around 10 to 12, uh, and that'll probably do it for me. So don't need to go stupid heavy here, we're just gonna go 15 to 20 kilos, um, and that'll do it. And that is the workout done and dusted. So if you guys wanna join my coaching program, the link is always in the description um, for meal plans, workouts, the best of all, basically the what you saw today, but for everything. So um, some of you have been asking what my current split is, and I was doing a push-pull leg split, but then I just moved back into basically a bro split somehow, but I'm trying to hit legs a little bit more often, um, just for fun, really. Like I really enjoy a bit of a bro split. Uh, I also enjoy not feeling 
that cooked, like dead all the time. Um, because a push pull leg split, if you're smashing push work out, 90 minutes, I was, very, I was pulling up a bit sore, so I just decided to switch it back. Um, but it's been really good. Another thing I just wanted to quickly like summarize, I guess, in terms of like how you guys should train your chest, in, in my opinion. Um, just like any other muscle group, you guys need to progressively overload in time. So I didn't really touch on it because I just assumed it was just a given, but I always try to beat what I have done in the past. So um, on a dieting phase, it's a little bit hard. I can't really get stronger. I mean, uh, I'm yet to get stronger in a dieting phase, but um, I will just try to maintain that. So what I do is like, if I've done 50s as my work set, I'll try to keep doing 50s. Um, try not to let your strength really go down in a cut, but if you guys are trying to build muscle, which I hope you are, um, I would suggest trying to get stronger over time. Get more reps out, slowly in increase the weight. Um, I'm a bit limited here with my dumbbells because I've only got 50s, but it doesn't matter. But obviously you're not gonna get it every single session, but over time is what we want. So what I like to do is have those sets where I'm really pushing it. So those sets of 50s, that'd be my testing. I'm really trying to get more. Um, and then write that down, log it. Then you, as you progress further into the session, you start opening up to more pump kind of work where you're doing drop sets, uh, the partial reps, more reps. Basically you're just really fatiguing at lower rest, and in that last set, like in that last bit of the session, guys, you can kind of go nuts. Like there's no rules to it. Like if you feel like doing a triple drop set on your on your last set of flies, go for it. If you want to burn them out, fine. Um, you may as well. That's kind of the way I see it. I don't waste a lot of time when I'm training chest with any fluffy shit. Like I'm gonna probably make a whole video on this. Like few ones I don't like. Like I don't like this doing this shit, like all those ones, I don't like that. There is no way to build your inner chest, like stuff like that. Um, you just need to train the chest as a whole and train it hard. So that's basically it. If you guys have muscle imbalances in your chest, like you feel like one side's a bit bigger, um, then you can always just switch out your uh, barbell for dumbbells. Stuff like that activations in the beginning is gonna be really helpful for that, for just improving the symmetry of the chest. But really, people tend to overcomplicate it quite a lot. It's a muscle just like anything else. Hit it hard, get your heavy sets in for like six to eight. Um, get your burnout sets with pump at the end. Get a, get a good pump in there. Train it twice a week or once a week. It's entirely up to you. For me, I train chest probably once a week. Um, it's not a massive weak point compared to my legs, but um, it's just, it depends on the person. So um, that is it for this workout. I'm actually pretty gassed. And now I'm, I'm gonna go do some cardio and then uh, go eat. So, see you in a bit. Workout is done, shower is had. Good. Um, and I haven't eaten yet, and it's 12.31. But good news, Dad's coming home with bagels, and I'm an absolute bagel king. So I'm gonna wait, and then I'm gonna break my fu- Oh, he's here. Yes! Bringing home the bagels. Show us the coons, how many did you get? Four puppies and six plain. They look huge too. Yeah. I got this thing. Too, which I didn't mean to eat half of it on the way home. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but it's bloody nice. <laughs> Show us. Looks like a twisted dick. That... Give us a bit. Yum. Okay, awesome. Do you have salmon? Mm -mm. I'm going to my office. What was that? On the plate, yeah. TV <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah, I got it. Do you want me to carry it for you? I can't do two trips. Oh I would have cried. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how's the new set it? This is as of yesterday. We rejigged this. this is where you usually work. Now that's Joel's. Loves it. <laughs> How good's this? Mmm. I've got my shake and my bagel that, that made it with a little ration of salmon. Mmm. So, what I think I might do is I'm gonna leave this video here, just as is, because um, the rest of the day is just work for me. So it's relatively boring. Um, but I did wanna just say again that uh, I'm very excited to show you guys what's coming. I just that's that's all I can say is that I'm super, super keen. And I know you guys are gonna love it because it is so different. Um, and it hasn't been done before. Uh, and enough, I'm gonna stop teasing you about it, all right? Because that's it. And also, I have some very uh, exciting day in the lives to film. So, th they take me hours and like days when you think about it. Like, they usually take me a good two days minimum of filming and then probably 
10, upwards of like eight to 10 hours of editing. So something like this video will take me probably just a couple hours. So I'll get this up soon and then make room for some absolutely epic ones to come. So um, that is it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Took something out of the chest workout as well. And then if you can learn anything from this video, learn that you can throw your bagel and it'll always land back on the plate safely. But that is it for me. And you guys definitely, definitely know what to do. Stay massive.